Hello, today I'm going to talk about the lodgepole pine, uh, also known as the tamarack, but here in California most people refer to it as lodgepole pine. Uh, these trees are kind of cool to me because they tend to grow at places I like to go, backpacking, usually in some high granite basin. Uh, you'll see these trees, they might be the only trees up high. But they can grow from about 5,000 foot elevation all the way up to about 11,000 feet. And uh, here in the Sierra, we're at 8,200 feet today. Uh, they grow 7,000 to 10,000 elevation. And this is a big tree right here. They can grow up to about 600 years old. So they're a pretty slow growing tree. But uh, where you see them in the Sierra, they tend to grow uh, by themselves or it's just a couple other species here over there mixing with some red firs uh, there can be a dominant species because they can take over an area really quickly after a fire or then they can grow in places that are hard for other trees to grow uh, they love granite soils and growing around granite that's why they're kind of special to me because I love to be up in the high Sierra granite and these are usually the trees I see up there uh, when they're little, sometimes I confuse them with uh, white bark pines, but once they get bigger, they're really, really easy to identify. So, uh, the reason they're really, really easy to identify, this is one of the branches. Kind of looks a little bit like a foxtail, the way they grow, but they are the only Sierra conifer that grows in bundles of two. So, very easy way to identify them. And also from this boot, this smooth bark, it's kind of flaky bark. It flakes off. Most conifers tend, when they get older, they tend to get ridgy and develop other characteristics. But these are always pretty smooth bark. And usually the, you, you'll see a lot of them are similar aged. And there's a reason for that. When they, they move in after fire or an avalanche or whatever, some, or, or a logging operation, they, they can move in pretty quickly and that's because of these cones they're small little cones uh, but they are prolific prolific cone producers so they can uh, just drop tons and tons of seeds they're wing seeds and they can just move in and take over an area pretty quickly so you'll see them scattered everywhere and uh, so they also grow they like the granite soils these ones are big because we're on a there's a lot of nice soil here and uh, they can grow pretty big but they'll also grow right in right out of rock uh, they can handle really dry conditions which is in the sierra we tend to have very dry hot summers and it's just dry and there's just not a lot of nutrients in some of this granitic soils but they do fine but they tend to get a stunted look at higher elevations but they they do survive if the soil is good they can attain good size like this and they can also grow in really boggy areas. So swampy meadow areas that are always damp. A lot of other trees don't like those areas. And uh, so meadows tend to be filled with uh, lodge, lodge poles. And a lot of meadows will eventually be overcome with uh, lodge pole pines. But uh, the natural if forests are left to be uh, in natural conditions wildfires will come in there's a lot of fuel in those meadows grass and small trees and brush and it'll be totally cleared out these guys will be the first guys to come in and repopulate those areas so the lodgepole pine uh, these are the sierra ones they grow from the southern ranges almost to mexico up into oregon there are three other varieties uh, there's a couple of coastal scrubby varieties that grow mendocino coast northward uh, they look a lot different than these trees. And then there's another another widespread lodgepole pine that grows throughout the western mountains. But these are the Sierra Sierra lodgepoles. There is actually a timber use for them. So they are harvested. There's In fact, there's an active har harvest going on a mile from where I'm standing right now. And uh, their main uh, market is for, for plywood. Uh, so fast-growing tree. 
they're everywhere in, in the Sierra in the middle elevations and upper elevations. So, uh, pretty cool tree. I'm in the Sierra. Life is good. If you're ever up here, look for the smooth bark tree, the lodgepole pine.